Hey everyone, I'm Chris Dreyer. Welcome back to my channel. And I had a few comments, emails about my pen's pressure sensitivity. They wanted me to share it in the next video. But instead of popping up the settings on the screen while I'm inking, I thought I'd just do a short video and just show you. All right, so here we'll start with the pen that has become my go-to, and that's the Real G Pen. To get to the settings, you click the wrench and you get this pop-up, Subtool Detail. This G Pen is a default pen that came with Clip Studio Paint. I've only made a couple of tiny little changes, otherwise it's the same. If you go to Brush Size, so you click the fly out and you get the Brush Size Dynamics. And there's options in here. I'm really just going to focus on the pressure sensitivity. And right now I have it checked and I have a curve like this. Now I'm not 100% sure, I don't quite remember, but I believe when I first installed this version 2.0, this setting for this pen was a little further down. And did you see how that changed? This is too much of a taper. Uh, when I'm feathering, I don't like that. So I pulled it up a little bit to about that. And as you adjust this, you can see what a, a, a stroke will look like. This is great that it shows you as you change because it, then you can make adjustments and not have to keep guessing. So that's really all I did to this. The other area that this pen has pressure sensitivity is in the thickness of the material, in this case the material. If it was a circle, it would be the thickness of the circle. And you click the fly out and it has this S curve. Now, I did not put that in there. That is a part of the default pen. I left it alone. It's one of my favorite pens. Another pen that I use a lot is the Brush 2 Reel. I made a copy of Brush and I named it 2 and then question, no, question Reel because I was trying to get this pen to look as, this, sorry, this brush as close as I could to a real brush. I have it rather straight right down the center and I have a velocity added to it and obviously the pen pressure. So I have the minimum set to 8. If I were to move this, watch right here as I move. So it's actually just a regular marker at that point. If I put it around 8 or 9 and I have it as straight, maybe a little bit of pull, but if you pull back you can see how it gets And here you have it kind of almost only tapering to a feather at this point rather than all the way back in here. And I also use the G pen a lot. And this is a default pen that I don't believe I really made a whole lot of changes to. I think I might have been pulled down a little further and I made it straight because, again, I don't like that super long taper. Let's look at markers. Let's start with the real pen. This pen I made. I scanned in a line I drew with a with an art marker and created this pen. You can see that video. I'll leave a link in the description. I walk through all the steps so you can see how I make that so you can make your own with whatever pen or whatever line you want to draw. But with the pressure sensitivity, I'm trying to mimic a like a micron or a one of those kind of pens where the tip is not like a brush. It's a little harder so when you draw you don't get that thin to thick line weight like you would with a croquil nib or a brush brush so I was trying to mimic that that's why this is pulled all the way back here and I have a velocity set and the pen pressure will only go it won't go below this I don't get as much line variation as I would with a brush I copied a marker, and I don't remember which marker I copied, and I made adjustments to it to try to mimic like a felt tip marker, or again, like a micron type thing. Uh, I made this one before the real pen, so, and this one has a lot of similar settings. I'm trying to keep it so that when you're drawing, you don't get that brush crow quill variation in line weight. It's rather consistent all the way through. 
you can get some line line weight. Like if you were using a micron and you pushed really hard and lifted off the page, you would get that variation, but not, again, as much as a brush. This is how my pens are set. You know, this is what I do. It's not the right way. It's not the wrong way. This is my way. If you know of a different way of doing it, maybe something that's like, you know, would really help, let me know. Write a comment down below. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I've got more videos, inking videos, and some tutorials planned coming up in the future. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you in another video.